right guys so before we begin I wanted to show you my cute um, Christmas tree Merry Christmas everybody and Happy New Year wish that 2013 will be um, a lot better than 2012 so we have this question which says use analytical methods to determine the limit limit x approaching 0 for x over x all right so we, when when we have a trig in the limits we should think of two formulas either limit x approaching 0 sine x over x equal 1 or 1 minus cosine x over x equal to 0. We should simplify the term to a point where we can apply either this one or this one. So, let's see what's happening here. Um, limit x to the 0 tan 4x over x. First of all, we got a break tan 4x to sine 4x over cosine 4x all over x. Agree? All right. Next step is limit x to the 0 sine 4x over cosine 4x over x means multiplied by 1 over x. So what we have here is limit x approaching 0 sine 4x over x cosine 4x. So now, how can we, how can we reach from here to one of those terms? Since we have 4x, here we need 4x here because the x is annoying here because x is approaching 0 so we cannot uh, plug it in here because we will have infinity so we can multiply by 4 over 4 in order to get 4x so What's happening here is limit x to the 0 for sine 4x over 4x cosine 4x. This guy here equals to 1 according to this rule. Limit x approaching 0 sine x over x equal 1. And since here... 4x is the same as 4x, so it also equals to 1 because those, this one, the angle, and the one in the denominator should be the same in order to apply this rule. For example, if we have sine for theta, we have to have for theta here to apply this rule. All right. In every single step here, don't forget to put the limit notation. The limit notation. The limit notation. And here, the limit notation. The limit notation. Until, until you plug in the zero or whatever x approaching something then you don't have to write the limit anymore see we'll plug in zero here so we don't have to put the limit notation anymore so 4 over cosine zero cosine zero from the unit circle is 1 
because the cosine is the x value on the unit circle. So this is zero angle, one, zero. The coordinate here is one, zero. So cosine zero is one, which equals two four over one equals to one. So now um, I'll let you take um, a look about this question and figure it out in your minds and the formulas that we used and how we went from one step to another using analytical method. By the way, analytical methods mean algebraic methods because you notice here that we did a lot of algebra and little bit of calculus here and here. Agree? So, this is the question. I'll let you take a final look at it. And I wish you a Merry Christmas again. I wish Santa brought you nice gifts. And um, have a nice day. Thank you.